Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Gibraltar. I've been across Gibraltar, I've been around Gibraltar. Today I'm going to go up Gibraltar. Now the best way of going up Gibraltar is by cable car. I've been past the cable car station twice and the lines are about an hour in length and it's £19. I budgeted for the £19, I haven't budgeted for a wait of an hour. So I've got a plan B. There are three entry points into the nature reserve up there. The most popular one is with the cable car. But there's another one and I think it's the Moorish Gate. That's where I'm heading for now. And I believe it's up here somewhere. Notice the total absence of tourists. I always seem to find these quiet little places to go to. This is very Spanish in its appearance. Oh, I'll tell you, it's beautiful and cool in this tunnel, and there's a wind blowing through it as well. <sighs> Unlike outside, where it's about 30 degrees Celsius. These tunnels just go on forever. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was today's money shot. I really wanted to try and capture a flight arriving or departing here at Gibraltar. And I was checking flight uh, radar 24 and the live arrivals and departures. Stood in the blistering sun for 15 minutes, but I got it. Yes. Aha, I think I know why the queues are one hour for the cable car. Because they only have one running every 10 minutes. I was standing there for ages in the sun, along with a German couple, waiting for that perfect shot of the cable car to go past. I was starting to think it wasn't operating. It's not what I would call a really frequent service. Hello. I was going to throw some useless factoids at you about these apes, but uh, they wouldn't cooperate. They didn't, they're a little bit camera shy today. I've got things done on this bit of cardboard here. They're Barbary apes. They are originally from the Atlas Mountains in Morocco. No one knows when they arrived, but I think it date from before the Moorish time, and that's in the early 1400s. Uh, do not feed the apes. There's a fine of 4,000 pounds 
if you feed the apes and uh, they're the only wild apes living in Europe. Another thing I was hoping uh, just to get one sitting here and I could tell him all the facts and figures but he took off. Hmm. Um, as long as the apes exist on Gibraltar the territory will remain under British rule. That's what they say. In 1942 the population dwindled to just seven monkeys. So UK Prime Minister Winston Churchill ordered the numbers to be replenished and they came from over there, Morocco. Seriously, do I have to walk away up there? I can see Barbary apes. Hello. He was okay. I've actually already said hello to him, so he recognized me. Oh. Every YouTuber who features Gibraltar features the Windsor Bridge. So I didn't want to be the, the only one not featuring it. I don't want people saying, oh, you know that Scott from Planes, Trains, Everything? He didn't even feature Windsor Bridge, honestly. And if you don't fancy walking along that wobbly suspension bridge, there's a little path around here as well. These inclines are an absolute killer. Not as sore as the actual steps at the, uh, the ape's den. That was sore. But these are pretty sore. Relentless sun, no shade, and just up and up and up and up. And up. The thing that's keeping me going is when we get to St. Michael's Cave, it'll be nice and cool there. This is pretty impressive. Wow. St. Michael's Cave was fascinating. Amazing. I was just thinking what must it have been like for the first people to go in there and think, whoa, what is this place? Although it wasn't as cool as I thought it would be, I was sweating buckets in there, but it was worth it. Right, more hills to climb. The last thing I want to see here is O'Hara's Battery at the highest point on Gibraltar at 426 meters. Boy, it feels higher than that, that's for sure. Nah, I think I'll give that tunnel a miss.
I had thought about doing the Mediterranean steps, but according to this, it's difficulty hard, I'm not worried about that, it takes two hours, and it's now 5.30 at the moment. That's cutting a little bit fine for closure at 7 or 7.30, so I might just have to call it a day. I've just realized something. I'm the only person stupid enough to come up here in this heat. There's not a single person around. According to my map, I really still have to see Skywalk, but I'll give that a miss. And the cable car going down, I'll give that a miss. I'll just walk down. Um, I wonder what else there is to see on the way. It's a hot one, even for you, isn't it? So guys, at least we saw the highlights of the Rock of Gibraltar today. We didn't see everything, but then I did leave this a bit late before I started this video, but we saw the main things anyway. So I'm glad you guys came along, and I'll see you next time.